The situation's Fubo. I still can't reach JSOC on the secure channel. Must be another jammer. We need to find it and take it out. Until then, we're on our own. The highlighted area of the map is about three clicks up this valley. The sooner we are off this rock, the better. MIA. I repeat, Prophet is MIA. I've got two men down and something just grabbed Prophet. It dragged him into the jungle. He's gone. We're gonna pull you out of there, son. Sit tight and I'll get a bird down there to you ASAP. Negative, sir. I can still complete. I've got intel on Rosenthal's location. He's being held at an excavation site somewhere near a Korean military base. I'm going after him. It's your call, son. But our GPS system's being jammed. We can provide no tactical support at this time. If you can locate and disable the jammer, I'll run a satellite scan of the area and see if we can locate that excavation site. Copy, Major. Much appreciated. All right, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Crisis. This is Mission 3, Part 1, also known as Relic. So, things have gone really well, really fast, or maybe very wrong very slowly. But yeah, Prophet is now gone, and we are on our own. But that's okay. We have three hostages to rescue. We need to disable a jammer. It's up in these farms up ahead. So we'll make our way through this valley to the exca excavation site. But luckily, we're a super high-speed, hyper-tactical, ultra... Super Navy Army Marine Special Forces Officer dude, yeah. I mean, remember, he is a first lieutenant, so we'll be fine. Major Strickland has operational command now, and he'll be our voice with the internet connection. Thankfully, he doesn't micromanage us too much, and he will let us do our job. Engaged. And we'll learn more about Major Strickland later. I mean, for all we know, he's probably related to Major Strickland from uh, Back to the Future, right? Slacker! We also picked up his grenade launcher attachment from... Prophet, his dropped weapon, and a scar ammo. And I'll talk about that in just a minute here. I don't recall if I mentioned previously, but one of the changes to the remastered version, again because it's essentially a port of the console version, is that the cloak mode does not last nearly as long. Even if you turn on the cloak and you're just standing still, it doesn't last as long as the original PC version. Now obviously that's probably for reasons of balance. I think the PC version, the cloak mode was, it it was not it lasted noticeably longer, and it kind of became a bit of a a crutch. Anyway, sneaking around here, we do have other grenades, which are the smoke grenades and the flashbangs. I haven't talked about those yet. The smoke grenades basically act like another wall. And if you throw them, and they obviously generate a cloud of smoke, and the enemy cannot see through them. They can also be used to distract enemies, or if you throw them into a building, they'll flush enemies out of the building. Oddly, the smoke grenade, the model for it, is really just a recolored version of a flashbang grenade. In reality, a smoke grenade in real life is like cylinder shaped. Now the flashbangs in this game act very much like flashbangs do in real life. They disorient and blind enemies for a short period of time. I mean, there's nothing really special about them. But um, the enemies do have to be kind of grouped together. Uh, visually, the flashbangs are based on the Mark or the M84 uh, stun grenades in real life. Alright, we'll just make our way through these banana plantations here. There's the jammer, that rotating dish. We got some guys, count like at least three coming towards us, maybe more.
Oh, there's one. Alright, domed him. Someone's shooting at me. That's very rude. Those North Koreans be rude. There's a vehicle. And a couple more guys. A couple more dudes. Some very bad dudes. Very, very bad dudes. Maximum armor. Engaged. No, stop moving so I can shoot you in the head. Alright, I'm gonna pull a tactical maneuver and try and flank him. Be the most tactical dude ever. That's right, right beyond the leaf. No one will see you there. Looks like the uh, looks like that LTV just ran into a tree and knocked it down. You're gonna have to pay for that tree there you just knocked down. That's government property. It's property of his glorious leader, don't you know? What the heck? Okay, well, something exploded. Yeah, the North Koreans aren't very great drivers. I mean. I guess they're a little bit better than, uh, you know, the Marines in Halo, or maybe the uh, drivers in Arma 3, but not by much. Energy critical. Maximum armor. Engaged. Boy, I'm just being super stealthy. I'm gonna win the best stealth guy award here any minute now. Say what? Maximum. These guys are just bouncing into each other. Oh, we didn't kill him. There we go. Now we killed him. See, there's mostly dead and there's all dead. Alrighty. 
Well, I guess I gotta talk a little bit about the grenade launcher. Uh, it could be the most tactical weapon ever, if it worked properly in this game. So let me explain. In the remastered version, the grenade launcher aiming cue system is literally missing. I don't know if this feature is gone in the console versions, but in the original PC game, and I'll demonstrate in a second. Good job, Nomad. We got our GPS system online. Satellite recon indicates a North Korean compound close to the river. Transmitting the coordinates now. We'll scan the area for your excavation site. All right, thank you, Major. Let's, let me show you how this works. So normally, when you aim, you can hold down the fire button and a green aim point will appear and that shows you how high you need to elevate to fire. That is gone from this game. So you literally just need to eyeball it. Boom, now I got lucky there and I managed to hit my target. But here's what it looks like in the original PC version, like it's actually useful. So you aim at something, hold down, right? A green dot appears, and that shows you how high to aim, so the arc of the grenade fires properly. But this is nowhere to be found in the remastered version. So, it's entirely missing from this game, which means you're just blindly aiming the grenade launcher and hoping that you hit something. And I checked, this is not like a function of the V-Sync being on or off, or the difficulty setting being set to Delta or anything like that. No, I've checked either of those. It's just not in the game. So it almost makes the grenade launcher kind of useless. Oh, and, and by the way, the grenade launcher also has no trigger guard for the trigger. <laughs> yeah. That's an accidental discharge waiting to happen. Maybe it's another cheap Chinese copy or something. The grenade launcher isn't really based off any singular grenade launcher from my understanding it does have elements that are common to many but it's you might say it's like a mishmash between like oh the m320 and um maybe the uh eglm that's used on the scar right but it's a down breaking open action grenade launcher not a side break like the m320 and it doesn't pull open like the m203 or whatever now, of course, the grenade launcher does use rifle grenades, which we picked up a box. So that's nice. You cannot, obviously, you can't just load your standard hand grenade in there. But yeah, I mean, it's just without the grenade aiming cue system, it, it kind of loses a lot of its utility, which is really annoying. I also believe that the grenades from the launcher have a five meter arming distance as pretty much like real life rifle grenades do. So you can't just accidentally blow yourself up if you fire too close. Although that being said, I've never tried it, but I'm not sure if you can like noob tube someone with this either. Like if you're closer than five meters and you shoot them with a grenade, they'll just like kind of have a 40 millimeter hole in them or something. Let's deal with these guys. Okay, got that machine gunner. Yep, the last thing he saw was the bullet flying to his face. All right, so we do need to make our way kind of through this valley. We're going to head towards the KPA base there. Past this checkpoint. Maximum speed. Maximum armor. Maximum speed. There are two ways to the KPA base, but there's like this hill in your way, so you have to just go around it. I think you can kind of go over it. And there's a helicopter nearby as well. So if you go around this hill to the 
to the left here. Engaged. There we go. We got a couple of guys patrolling down there. And that part actually leads up to this uh, rope suspension bridge right there, but it's heavily guarded. Nomad, you're closing in on the North Korean compound. We're planning an assault on the island. Any intel you can gather would be a great help. It's heavily fortified, so look for a quiet way in. Don't worry, Major. Quiet is my middle name. So yeah, we need to gather intel in there. I'm not going to take the rope bridge, the suspension bridge, because it's guarded and it's a great, awesome funnel of death and a great way to get ventilated. There's snipers in the watchtowers and they'll give you a new way to breathe through your skull. There are also machine guns manning it, so we're going to actually proceed here around the hill to the left and down the road. And we're going to head kind of down this river a bit and then we're going to sneak in via the back way because that's the tactical way and that's how we roll. That's how Nomad does it. Engaged. Maximum speed. Heads up, Nomad. We're picking up a vehicle heading your way with heavy guard. Maximum keep your speed. eyes peeled. I'll keep them peeled like an onion. Oh, here it comes. Now, if I recall, in the PC version, this truck that's coming towards us is actually crawling along with several men, like six men, just walking along beside it. But here, they seem to be just riding in the back. Not that it matters. Again, I'm getting lucky with my grenade shots here. Because we just blowed it up. For these trucks, you can actually shoot the fuel tank on the side of them, beneath their chassis, to make them blow up, but it does take a considerable amount of ammo. It's not like the, the Bulldog LTVs, where you can just shoot the jerry can on the back. No, you, you do need to put a good number of rounds into the fuel tank on those trucks before they explode. So it's a lot easier just to shoot them with a grenade or something. I believe in Crisis Warhead, you get more uh, useful ways of blowing stuff out. You get like mines, you can put like anti-personnel claymore mines, or you have anti-tank mines. Obviously used for vehicles, things like that. But alas, we have none in, in here. You know, come to think about it, you know, the way this um, Raptor team is set up, it is a little bit strange that there are like two officers in there. Like, why would there be a major and a lieutenant? Yeah, it just seems kind of inefficient to me. I mean, like, these special ops teams, you know, for like tier one or tier two, let's just shoot that frog just because. For a tier one or tier two, they often, they're often used to trained to operate in fairly small teams, or they can operate as larger teams, but, you know, if they're doing something like reconnaissance, right, they could operate as a small team, right? The officers will be behind in, like, the operations center, and they'll be directing things. So, but you won't find, like, a major or a captain or whatever just out there leading men. It might be a little bit strange from my understanding. Again, I, I don't know, but... <laughs> Never worked with Delta Force or the Savvy Neils or the, the Wecon Moines or anything like that, so... Alright, we're gonna sneak our way down here. We're eventually gonna cross this river over here to our left. And we're going to sneak our way into the base camp and shoot guys. That's what we do. And 
There's another truck and more guys. These are the most high-tech binoculars ever and anywhere on the planet. They have, you know, they can tag enemies, they have a directional microphone, they have a rangefinder on them, a compass. All the goodies. Although annoyingly, they probably have a digital zoom rather than an optical zoom. Alright, time to go for a swim. Helicopter. I don't know why he's flying so low. Yeah, and also our suit has a rebreather on it. And it has thrusters, like hydro thrusters, for allowing you to move faster through water. Again, we're so, so special. Alright. So we're going to head up here kind of towards this road. And go in the back way. Truck. Yeah, I'm sure nobody heard that. Nah. Yeah. Alright, let's set this thing to uh, fully semi automatic. Switch to our scar. We'll go in tactical. Go into tactical mode here. You know, I imagine since this being kind of a tropical island, it must be pretty warm and rather humid in this area. It's right near the Philippines. That said, the uh, nano suits I'm sure have like um, thermal regulating body suits or whatever, so they, they probably regulate the temperature to keep them fairly comfortable. Kind of like a space suit or something. But don't worry, I'm sure. Uh, Raptor team have all done their uh, jungle training. They got their jungle warfare tab, their ranger tab, all the special school tabs that the army has, right? Just a sleeve full of special tabs, right? Airborne, ranger, jungle, arctic, desert, underwater, space, Another dimension? I don't know. Okay, well, there's basically a, a dirt mound, a berm, surrounding this uh, compound, and there's machine gun nests scattered around it, as well as watchtowers. So we're just gonna do what we do best. I do want to get these guys in the watchtowers because they have a very special attachment on their precision rifles.
Boom, got him. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Sneak our way up to the fence. Don't worry, boys. I learned this in the army. Be all that you can be. How many of you remember that recruiting slogan? <laughs> That's like from like the 80s and 90s. As opposed to like army strong or an army of one or something. <laughs> Surprise! Man, talk about the flimsiest, you know, machine gun nest or the flimsiest cover for that thing. You just shoot him, he falls over, and the whole, like, the corrugated tin panels just come crashing down. That is not military grade technology, let me tell you. Very disappointing, very shoddy military engineering. No way any kind of special operations guys could penetrate this fortress of security. I saw the sniper drop his weapon, so I'm going to see if I can find it. Maybe get that sniper first. Oh, there it is. Yep. Let's recharge and then we'll grab it. We now have the sniper scope. This is a variable zoom scope. It has either 4 or 10 power magnification. It basically turns, you know, a lot of your weapons into a, like a DMR. There we go, got him. Makes you feel really special. Always wanted to one shot, one kill a guy. Somebody put up a flare. Was I spotted? Oh well, no matter. I'm hearing the helicopter. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's shoot it down. Well, they definitely know we're here now. 
Let's go get those Viet Congs. Viet Cong? What? Viet Cong, it's already plural. You don't say Chineses. If you don't shoot down that helicopter, it actually lands in a landing area inside this base and it discharges some North Korean Special Forces troops. Which are more of an annoyance, but they're no tougher than your average North Korean. Except they dress cooler, they act cooler, and they wear really tactical black uniforms. the alarm again. Maximum armor. Where I won the most stealthiest award in best ranger competition. Maximum. There we go. Agony of defeat. Engaged. Or should I say agony of the feet. Some guys coming across the bridge. Well, we can shoot that bridge and we can cause them to fall. Oh, there's a guy there. Could you please not do that? I have to remind you, Sally. This is my week off. Remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? I lied. What'd you do with Sally? I let him go. Come on, we just gotta shoot the bridge. We're shooting everything but the bridge. Guys fell off. <laughs> there we go. And the bridge is no more. All right. Are there still guys around here? I'm still getting a yellow on the detection detector thingy on the enemy detector. Thing, stuff. Maybe they're in one of these machine gun nests. This is where that helicopter would land and disgorge those troops. Luckily, the carcass fell right here. It says he's right around here. Did he survive the crash, the helicopter crash?
Well, he didn't survive that. He can survive an exploding helicopter wreckage falling on him, but he won't survive a hand grenade. Get the intel. I think there's a weapons cache around here. Here it is. Get some more rifle grenades. And some more grenades. And some more pistol ammo. And some shotgun ammo, why not? I heard some more guys. Let's just get the intel here. Get Major Strickland what he wants. Accessing tactical network. Download complete. Got it, Nomad. Nice work. Looks like the enemy forces are concentrated around that mountain. This will help us plan our line of attack. We also have the location of the excavation site. You should see the coordinates on your PDA right about now. I suggest you take a vehicle and stick to the road. Alright, well, we need to get to that dome, which is the excavation site. It's up the hill from here. Let's make our green weapon really tactical. We're gonna make our way across these rice paddies here. Shoot some North Koreans and get paid. These rice paddies, I don't know if it's rice growing season, but they're very shoddily planted, I will say. And I have planted rice in Japan. I used to live in a very rural community, and so, yeah. One time I had to plant rice one season, and basically you're given these little seedlings and you you run around in this muddy paddy and stick the seedlings in and they go in nice neat little rows. The people of the Lingshan Islands do not plant rice very well. Got a bunch of guys out here, so let's get them. Yeah, this looks like a farm. There's a bunch of derelict vehicles just lying around here. Looks like the kind of farm that I grew up on, right? You just use your, you buy a vehicle, brand new, and you use it until it basically falls apart. The wheels come off, and the chassis just ends up on blocks, you know. <laughs> That's farming in America for you. Ooh, they're trying to get around, I see. He didn't make it. Engaged. Tried to be a hero, and he just didn't have what it takes. Didn't have the right stuff. Guy beyond that fence. Yep. Gosh, dang, the North Koreans are coming out of the bushes there. 
Coming out of the woodwork. Coming out of the walls. Coming out of the goddamn walls. Maybe they don't show up on infrared at all. Have a grenade. Yeah. Hey, Poem, we can't have any firing in there. I want you to collect magazines from everyone. And no grenades. What the hell are we supposed to use, man? Harsh language? something. It sounds like it's coming from over here. Missile launchers. Yep, let's just reload our missile launcher ammo. Get some more FY71 ammo. And some more grenades. Oh, our frag grenades are full. Alright, let's proceed on. We're almost through these rice patties. I think I'm gonna kind of end the video here right before we cross this river and then yeah we'll proceed on to the excavation site and uh, hopefully the rest of this mission in the next one. Well I will see everyone later.